Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of March 1st through March 7th. So we're just going to see what comes up. I do apologize for the sound outside. Uh, the barriers are coming. <laughs> not soon enough so anyhow what do we have what do we have for Virgo for the week ahead what do we have for Virgo oh I guess that's probably it huh the Sun so, so the Sun is beautiful it's beautiful it's warmth it's happiness it's joy it's celebrating it's being in a very beautiful place, it's enlightenment, high vibration, um, a new beginning. So you are, whatever's happening this week, I think you're going to be happy, okay? Because this is happiness. So whatever's happening, it is beautiful. Because this is beautiful. When it's, when it's sunny out, when it's warm, and it's just beautiful. So whatever it is, it's beautiful. Um... <laughs> what I was going to say is basking in your glory. Okay, you may just be in your glory this week. Oh. A younger man. Dealings or relationship with a younger man. You know, it could be a woman as well. Um, throne, position of authority. So you may be in a position of authority. You could be dealing with somebody that's in a position of authority. Uh, you're going to be dealing with somebody that is younger than you this week. So what do we have for Virgo? I gotta look at that card because it keeps wanting to come out. Oh, the magician. That card kept trying to fall. That's why I did twice it tried to fall, not let me shuffle it. So this is uh, in your power. You have a lot of power, position of authority. So yeah, you have a lot of power this week. You've manifested something. The answer is yes. And this is a yes the answer as well. So something, some sort of question that you were looking to have answered, the answer is yes. Now the magician is a golden opportunity. This is golden as well. You're going to be really, really happy. You're going to get something that you asked for. So what do we have? What do we have for Virgo? What do we have for Virgo? What do we have for Virgo? As above, so below. Three of Cups. This is a celebration of some sort. So this is having fun, socializing. Some of you could be dating. This is a new beginning. Whatever's happening, you're going to... And this is a lot of happiness. You're going to be extremely happy. You're going to be celebrating life. Because the Sun card is a life-giving energy. Something really is going to make you happy this week. Oh, this is the this is the Empress. So this is this is uh It's definitely a time of growth. It's a very fertile time. Somebody uh, you know, we have somebody here that is very abundant, very beautiful very motherly, does everything with love. This is a very motherly energy that is going to be celebrating something. This could be the birth of a new life, seriously, or a rebirth. Now, because this is creating a new life, this is a birth and this is a birth. So there's, this is definitely the birth of something new. And it is beautiful. It is beautiful. So... Interesting. Some of you 
could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra, but doesn't have to be. This is creating a new beautiful life that is going to make you extremely happy. There could be a younger person that is approaching somebody that has a lot of life experience, that has been through a lot of pain. This person is very loving and generous and abundant. Eight of coins, putting in effort, working hard. We have somebody here that is, is a worker that is going to be putting in effort. This person is very skilled at what they do. They may want to get together. They may ask somebody out on a date or to go out for drinks or something like that. If you are in a relationship right now, this is, this is definitely good news as well. Somebody is going to step it up. They're going to step up. They're going to show you what they what they have to offer. They're going to show you their skills. Whoever this person is does have skills. This is like a tradesperson. I was going to say tradesman. You know, does something, works hard. This is a hard worker. This is somebody that uh, uh, builds things. Queen of Coins reversed. Now the Queen of Coins reversed is <sighs> unstable, insecure, ungrounded, need to be grounded. We have somebody here that may have insecurities that they're dealing with. You know, there's. I feel like there's an opportunity for happiness and to think positive and for a positive new beginning, but there's insecurities in the way. You know, somebody may be insecure about their looks or their, or their, what they have to offer. But they do have a lot to offer because the Empress is here. And the Empress is very abundant and, you know, has the means to create whatever they want. But there's, there's a level of insecurity here. And I think it's inner insecurity. could also be a third party situation. I mean, I hate to say that. Or there has been a third party situation. We may have somebody that has given up. They have given up on a partnership, a friendship, or a relationship because of a third party. You know, they've stopped investing in it and they, because they know their value, they know their worth. You know, they want a beautiful, you know, happy life. So they may have given up on a third party. They're putting effort into themselves, you know, and now there's another option or there's, there's that could be a reunion. So somebody may want a new beginning. They may want a reunion after you have given up. You may be feeling insecure over something. I think that you are feeling insecure. Queen of Cups. Now, the Queen of Cups is an offer of love. You, somebody is going to be getting an offer of love from somebody that is very intuitive, empathic. This person is spiritual, open and available to love, maybe been calling in a soulmate or something. So this Queen of Cups is somebody that is very loving and, and wanting and looking for love. Somebody is looking for love. And I feel like they've been calling in a soulmate and they are, they've manifested a soulmate. I do. Their hard work is about to pay off. They're about to be extremely happy with, with, with what they asked for. So you're going to get what you asked for. Could be dealing with, like I said, a Libra or a Taurus or another Taurus Virgo Capricorn or a Pisces Cancer Scorpio. But I do feel like you are going to be in a position of authority. Um, you, you know, whether you want to work on this, whether you want to give it your energy, whether you want to open your heart to this person, I do believe you're going to be communicating with somebody or getting together with somebody or somebody will even make it, an, they'll invite you to do something, but you may feel insecure. You may feel like, you maybe you don't know your value, but you do, but you're very valuable. Okay. You have a lot to offer, but you may not think that you have a lot to offer. And this, and this could even be a job offer for some of you. Some of you, some of you may be getting a job offer that could make you extremely happy. This is a job that you will love. 
you will absolutely love it. If it's not a job offer, it could be a relationship offer, you know. Um, some of you could be making some new friends with that Three of Cups. Um, <clears throat> what is this Queen of Coins reversed? Let's clarify that. What is the Queen of Coins reversed? of swords so somebody has made you feel insecure somebody's made you feel insecure I feel like you have to you're gonna have to make a decision you may be trying to protect yourself yeah there's insecurities here you probably want to protect yourself you may be maybe you're you know not wanting to open up <sighs> this is like I don't, I don't care, you know, I, I, I got to protect myself. I feel like you're going to be you're in protection mode. And I do feel like you're going to be having a conversation with somebody. And you may want to uh, use your head instead of your heart. Because this is head and this is heart. My advice is to follow your heart. Always. Always. You're going to meet somebody. Could be even through a job. It doesn't have to be through a job. Could be at work. Um doesn't have to be though. I think that you're going to meet somebody that you connect with on a friendship level. You know, you may, you may uh, feel happy around this person or this person makes you happy or whatnot. Um, makes you smile. And I, but I feel like you, you have to open your heart. And I feel like because this person is going to open up to you. But I feel like you're guarded. I feel like you're going to want to protect yourself. You have somebody that is um, very to the point, very sharp, very intelligent, very hardworking, uh, that is going to be opening up to you. Or they're going to be giving you an opportunity that you asked for. This could be, whoever this person is, um, is very, very, very intelligent. You can have an intelligent conversation with this person. Um, but I do feel like you're, you may be, you know, stuck in the mud or you may be, um, unable, stuck, you know, unable to open up for some reason, you know, um, you just, maybe, maybe you just don't trust with that queen of coins reverse. That's untrustworthy. You know, you don't trust, you don't trust. And maybe you've been abused. Maybe you've been in a relationship where, you know, um, somebody was cold and uncaring towards you. Anyhow, I do believe that you are going to be receiving something that makes you extremely happy. Okay, this, 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 whatever it is, somebody hasn't been following their heart. They haven't been opening their heart. And I feel like this week you're going to really be uh, called to open your heart. This is the birth of a new life. This is creating a new life. Somebody's definitely, this is clarity and this is value. Somebody sees your value, even if you don't. And I don't think you do. I don't think that you do see your value. You don't may not know your value. Um, but um, you have somebody that is definitely going to be, this is a conversation. You're going to be having a conversation with somebody um, that really puts you in your feelings as well. You're really going to be. Uh, it may make you emotional, whatever this conversation is. You're going to probably have an emotional conversation with somebody that really, really puts you in your feelings. Now, this person, who is this person? Um, this is, could, you know, if this isn't you, there is a person that is in a position of authority. This is a position of authority. This is a, is a position of authority that is making a decision based on what they see, based on the facts. They're watching, I don't know if they're watching you work or um, you meet them at work or something like that. This person is watching. They are watching, they're making a decision. It's a very discerning decision, you know. They're definitely making a decision about, uh, I don't know, it's about you and about, it, I think it has to do with a... You know, there's a lot of, about beauty. I mean, this is beauty and this is beauty. So something about who you are. They're making a decision about you. And they're seeing something very, very clearly. It's very, very clear. 
It's clear. Whatever it is that they see, they see it very clearly. That this is an opportunity for growth because that is a card of growth. We do have a new beginning here. I feel like I feel like you're going to be sitting somewhere. You're going to be sitting somewhere and I feel like this person is sitting close by. You know, they're in a close vicinity, you know? And it's like and it's almost like you you guys you interact with each other. I feel like you interact with this person, you know, maybe it's it's like flirting or something like that. Um I feel like you're just waiting. You're just waiting for something, you know, and you're, or it's at work or something. You're in close vicinity with this person. <sighs> oh, page of coins just came flying out. So, yeah, you're going to be getting an offer from somebody. This is an offer that could lead to long-term stability. This could be a job offer. It could be... A relationship offer. Could, this is the very beginning. The Page of Pentacles is the very beginning of something abundant, where it's not going to be easy. You have to, this is like a new prospect, a new opportunity, where you're starting from the beginning, laying a new foundation. It's a new enterprise, right? This is a new investment. So I do believe that you will. You're going to be given an opportunity. That could lead to long-term stability through, with hard work and perseverance this week. Okay? You may be getting a, uh, for some of you, it could be a loan offer or, you know, a job offer or, uh, like I said, it could be from some, I feel like this is from somebody that is younger than you but is in some sort of a position of authority. If this person is younger than you, they are wise very very wise wise beyond their years you know what i mean this is somebody that is extremely intelligent you may not and maybe you don't trust people that are younger than you or because this is a lack of trust uh, it is um anyway you're going to be getting a an opportunity that um it's solid it's real and you manifested it you manifested it this is what you asked for but you know, I don't, I don't, and you may feel like it's not realistic because the queen of coins reversed. This isn't realistic. This isn't practical, you know, but, um, you know, there's an opportunity for love here. There absolutely is. There's an opportunity for a lot of happiness. It's a time of growth. It's a very fertile time. Um, get prepared get prepared to receive an offer that you asked for and it's you manifested it it may not come exactly how you thought it was going to arrive but this is what you asked for it is what you asked for um you're going to be having a conversation with somebody this person wants to wants to give you a chance or wants you to give them a chance with that page of pentacles they see that you have some sort of value, okay? They, they value something in you that you don't value in yourself, okay? And that's the truth here. You don't value it in yourself, but they see it in you. And I feel like you should take the opportunity. I feel like you should take the opportunity because it's a big, beautiful opportunity. With work and effort, it could definitely grow into a lot of abundance, Um Whoever this person is, they are professional. They have a professional um, skill. Okay, this is somebody that is very skilled at whatever they do. And they are looking for love. Good luck.